Good Sunday morning to everybody. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw here doing a uh, little video this morning. Um, not much in the mail yesterday. Actually, nothing came in the mail yesterday, but I did get a early Christmas gift, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But uh, just wanted to start out this video by just saying um, thank you to the YouTube community who has welcomed me and embraced me uh, in 2020. Uh, definitely been a challenging year for everybody. And uh, I, uh, I'm very thankful to some of the people that I've met through YouTube. And that while I've never physically actually met anybody, um, I feel like I've built some friendships over um, over the year in the within the community. So had a lot of great support. Um, I've been slack lately about supporting others and watching videos. I've been watching a lot of videos. I just haven't uh, been commenting on a lot of stuff because I've actually been uh, just got new smart TVs and been watching YouTube on there and watching a lot of videos and just putting some of my favorite uh, YouTubers on um, just autoplay basically while I'm doing other stuff. So I don't get a chance to comment on a lot of the videos, but um, definitely watching and, and uh, I'll get back to that hopefully because I, I definitely, I've seen a little spike in my viewership lately, which is great. Um, and I appreciate all that. And uh, I'm very grateful that uh, considering what 2020 has been, very grateful for the fact that I have been able to add so much cool stuff to my collection this year. Um, you know, in a year where a lot of people have lost their jobs or been furloughed for extended periods of time and, um, you know, had their hours cut or, or various circumstances, um, being an essential employee working for the post office, um, I've been working more than ever. And uh, while sometimes that's not a good thing, um, it actually, I cannot complain. It hasn't been that bad since that 90 hour work week. Uh, about a month ago. Hasn't been that bad the Christmas season. It's been crazy busy, but we've been getting it done. And we've been uh, fortunate that um, with the staffing that we have, everybody's chipped in and done a great job. And, um, you know, all the people that hate the post office out there just realize what the post office is going through. Remember that we've been in a pandemic for nine months now, officially in a pandemic for nine months. And the post office is just inundated as is UPS and FedEx and any other delivery companies out there with people just ordering more and more through the mail. And not only do we have our Christmas volume that we normally deal with every year, but we have the COVID volume, as we call it, on top of that. The people that are ordering cases of paper towels, toilet paper. Uh, we have people ordering potato chips and snacks by the case cases of bottled water, cases of um, energy drinks. That stuff takes up a lot of room. It's heavy and it's quite honestly, it's annoying. You know, um, the stores aren't closed. Uh, it's just convenience. And uh, I won't lie, I ordered toilet paper in the beginning of the pandemic um, through the mail when there was that whole initial scare, um, you know, in order to be prepared. But since the stores have reopened, and I give my wife all the credit for this, she is in the stores three, four, five times a week picking up the things that we need for the house. And she's been stocking up again for the past couple months on toiletries. And uh, hopefully we're not going to go down the road again of, you know, where we were back in, you know, March and April, where the, the, the shelves were getting wiped out clean and, you know, we couldn't find anything. I'm hoping that that does not happen again. Uh, but uh, after taking a trip to my local Walmart this morning to finish my stocking stuffers for Christmas, because I literally, like a lot of people, purchased everything online this year. Um, I didn't have time for one to go to the store, nor did I want to. And after my experience at Walmart this morning, <laughs> I'm even more grateful for my wife who does the grocery shopping and picks up all of the other things um, because I can't stand it. I just don't have the patience for it. I went into my local Walmart at right around 8 a.m. this morning, and the shelves were wiped. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm not talking about the grocery shelves. I'm talking about I like to buy little stocking stuffers for my wife, stuff that she uses on a daily basis. She likes a certain kind of candy, you know, whatever. I like to buy that stuff, but I buy her simple stuff like mascara and deodorant and stuff that she buys during the course of the year. I'll buy her some of that stuff, you know, to last her for the year, or close to the year. They didn't even have that stuff on the shelves. I'm like, are you kidding? You couldn't even find it. And they had like four registers open and none of the self-checkouts were working this morning. And I use the self-checkouts because I usually only go in there to pick up a couple things. And today with stocking stuffers for my wife and my daughter, 
and I picked up some sodas and juice for our holiday party that we're having at work this week. And um, I had to wait in line uh, for about 15 minutes to pay for what I wanted. It is what it is, but it's really embarrassing. It should be embarrassing for the Walmart people. Um, they don't. Um, and, and, you know, I understand if they're having staffing issues like a lot of other places. I understand that that's, that's a problem, but I think a lot of it is scheduling. I mean, get people in there. It's it's five days before Christmas. It's Walmart. You're going to be busy. Um, so that was not a pleasant experience for me. I did glance down the card aisle. Um, unfortunately, that register was open, and where it's located, there's no way to get in there if there's customers in line. So I did glance down. It looked like it typically does. It looked like a lot of empty cardboard. Um, didn't look like there was much down there. Uh, that's not what I went there for, but I said, I'll, I'll peek when I'm there and see if there's anything interesting. But I wasn't in the mood to fight with people trying to get down there to look. So I just kept on walking. Ran into an old buddy of mine who I haven't seen for like 15 years. So that was kind of cool. Um, talk to him for a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just overall for me, 2020 has been a, you know, a, a decent year. I mean, I, I won't say it's a good year because of COVID. Nothing, I don't think anybody can say it's been a good year. Missed out on seeing a lot of friends and family and, um, you know, doing the things that we normally do. And Christmas is going to be so much different this year. Um, so, but I wanted to mention one thing. I I did get, as I mentioned, an early Christmas gift last year. Um, one of the employees that, uh, one of the mail carriers that works in the office uh, happens to be the union president, um, since I've been supervising, has got me a Christmas gift every year, which is totally unnecessary, um, but certainly well appreciated. And every year he kind of tried to get something unique. He doesn't just buy me something. And he knows I'm a big Red Sox collector. And in the years he's got me various things. Um, he got me some comic books from the Quick Draw McGraw series. Quick Draw was always my nickname growing up because of my last name. And he got me some autographed comic books, which I still have. He got me a, a reversible Patriots winter jacket last year. It was kind of cool. And uh, he's bought me different things in the past. And this year, he gave me my gift yesterday morning and told me that I not everything in it was for me. I'm like, great. Okay. So I actually think the intention was to get something for myself, my wife, and my daughter, which was super sweet. Um, he's a really good guy. When you think of, you know, management in the post office and a union representative, especially the union president, you don't really think that they're going to get along that well. But we actually have a pretty harmonious office uh, between the steward and the president and myself and the other management. where We try to really talk things through before we just get to the grievance process and things. So we have a good relationship um, and we like to try to keep it that way. And uh, so I was very pleasantly uh, surprise and I'm going to show you now what he got me as a Christmas gift. Um, I don't have the third item, which was something for my daughter, which was super sweet, um, but uh, I'll talk about it. So the package itself had three items in it, and the item uh, that was underneath it was this right here, and I think this may have been more geared for my wife because she's so super organized and he knows that. It's a 2021 or 20 uh, wall calendar, Red Sox wall calendar, um, sealed up still, probably will stay sealed. <laughs> My wife doesn't use calendars. Uh, I don't use calendars, but uh, I look at this as a collectible, not a calendar. So this will go in my collection as well. I don't have a lot of Red Sox calendars. I maybe have three or four, but uh, this was super nice. Um, the second item that was in, there was then a small box inside and opened that up and inside the box was two things. One thing for me, one thing for my daughter. And the thing for my daughter was this cute little Red Sox hat. It was a new era hat that had a, like a floral design to it, but not like a bright colored floral design. It was like a navy blue hat, maybe a little bit lighter than navy blue with little flowers on it with a red, and a red Sox hat. It was really cool. She loved it. She grabbed it out of the box, put it on, was walking around with it, singing and dancing. So that was really cool. So he hit the nail on the head there. And then the third item was what I considered my item. And it was this box right here, and it was an Ultra Pro gold ball display. And I could tell by the weight of it that it wasn't just a ball holder. Um, and I opened it up, and to my surprise, was a autographed baseball from Fred Lynn uh, with the um, inscription 75 MVP Rookie of the Year. Now, these are not cheap. Now, 
Um, he got it from the Red Sox team store. And I actually already have a Fred Lynn ball. It's an official baseball. Um, I already have a Fred Lynn ball, but I do not have one with inscription. So the inscription one is way cooler. So this I consider a new ball in my collection and a super cool one. Um, and to get that from a coworker is really super impressive. And uh, I just I was at a loss for words. I'm like, this is a beautiful gift, you know, for my Red Sox collection, and I will definitely cherish it. And uh, this will probably go separate from my other autographed baseballs that I have because it's super cool and super unnecessary, like I said, for him to do anything for me. But uh, it's super appreciated for sure. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I know I'm going to have some Red Sox items for Christmas. And we're in the home stretch now, five days to go. Um, it's going to be a busy couple of days. Um, I'm hoping as long as nothing bad happens, knock on wood, that I'm going to have Christmas Eve as my normal Thursday off. Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and I've actually taken the day after off. So I'll have a four-day weekend. So as long as nothing ca catastrophic happens where we lose employees in the next few days, uh, I'll be getting a nice four-day weekend to enjoy with my family after the after the holiday. So uh, just very thankful and um, enjoy enjoying myself so much doing these videos. Um, I have a lot of fun doing them, and I enjoy showing off my collection. So um, that's my video for today. Um, I thank you, everybody, for watching and your continued support. And I will do my best to continue to support people within the community uh, with viewership and hopefully getting to more commenting. Um, so I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Um, and I'm sure I'll be on more this week with some more pre-Christmas videos. And then, of course, I'll have a post-Christmas video um, showcasing some of the items I get from, uh, from Santa. So that's what I got for today. Enjoy your Sunday. And as always, take care.